Hello and everyone, welcome to the Dublin Partridge Brew Day. We've spent our annual budget on a brew day. As you can see here, it's got its jacket on it, it came free with the purchase. I've put some water in it, I've put 17 litres of water in it, and I've bought my grain from Gitter's Brew. So, I will heated this water to 73 degrees. We've now set the timer at 67 degrees for an hour, because as I put the grain in here, it's going to cool down. So, let's add the grain. And as you can see, I've fitted the, uh, the stopper there to stop the grain falling down to the bottom. I'm going to bag the grain and I'm going to have to pour this in slowly and then stir at the same time so not to have any dough balls. There are lumps of grain that stick together and won't help with the, uh, with the mashing. In it goes. Nice and steady. As you see, I bought this, this bag is a recipe I've put together. I found that, that Get Her Brew has a really good recipe builder. So there's a mixture of grain in here, marisotta, crystal malts, etc. And I'm basing my recipe, hopefully, on something nice and golden and crisp, something similar to ghost ship. So we're getting all that grain in. Jeremy's getting stiffer, which is the crucial bit where we might get a dough ball or two. Stirring away, keep on stirring. Keep on stirring until every bit of grain gets covered, mixed into the mash. What you should end up with is a nice, thick, porridge-like consistency. Do you want to do that for a minute or two? Let's get it all mixed in. So now I've taken the safety cap off. What I'm going to do now is put the uh, grain basket lid on. And I've actually got this set on the lowest one. You can adjust this arm in the middle here. Well, I've got them on the lowest one. Now we need to add our sparging arm. I call it sparging arm, because it isn't. This little piece comes with a can lock fit in, so it's pretty easy to handle. Get that in there, easy to handle, and all you'll do is just click down. Right, so we've still got 67 degrees for an hour, so now we're going to start the pump. And the water's coming through. And if we just pull that down a little bit on the side here, we can regulate the flow. And what we want to do is just be the water coming through just enough to cover the basket and leave a layer. So that's going to take a minute or two to do. And when it's there, we'll show you what we mean. Now, as you can see now, the basket is covered with water. So I'm just going to turn the flow down a bit just to maintain that covering of water. So the water falls through the grain, back out, back through, and away we go for an hour. Keep that regulated for an hour, keep her eye on it, but basically that's it for an hour. Right, and about half hour to go, you've got to think about your sparge water. 17 litres of sparge water, eating up in the pico. Hence the step lines. More come apparent very shortly. So here we are at the end of the mash. So now I'm going to remove the sparge arm. And the lid. And I'm going to lift out the grain basket. And lock it in position. So, now this is where you've got to add your sparge water. So, this is my sparge and all. Let's get a bad boy here. I'm going to put that in there. Touch it to me. Pico with preheated water in there at 75 degrees. And then I'm just going to open that tap. Make the sparge water come through. So that is now sparging. Once that sparge and it's through, that'll be very rock and rumble. So what I've also done, I've got myself another cam lock, a little bit of 
pipe and more so recirculating the sparge water at the same time as sparging. You don't need that on full go, just a bit coming out there. So you've got the sparge water and recirculating sparge water in there. You need that going for a while. Why am I doing this? Well, I just think it increases the efficiency of washing the grain and get as much of sweetness out of the grain as possible. I've got a little bit too much water in there and then I'm just turning down the, uh, the pump. The water flow coming out of there. And I'll okay. do that again for a bit. Also, what you've got to remember is I've already got the uh, Blue Devil on boil, so I've already set the temperature to boil. So as as the water falls through, it's eating up already. It's ready for the boil. So with the water, sparse water drained through, I'm going to remove the hot basket, the mash basket. There we go. There we go. Lovely. Look at that. That's already on its way up to the boil. We're at 78 degrees a minute. We're just making it that a bit quicker. I'm going to replace the lid. Alright, so we've got the boil going. If you haven't got yourself one of these, get yourself one. It's a hop spider, it makes life a lot easier when it comes to getting your beer out of the out of there. I've already got 20 grams of citrine, so that's going straight in. I've also got 20 grams of creamers going in. I've also got 20 grams of amarillo going in. And I've also got a whopping 60 key grams of Cascade going Get it in there. Right. Lovely. Let that boil for an hour. And then we'll be back. I will actually let that boil for 45 minutes. And then we're going to add a word flop tablet. Or a pro bulk tablet, whichever you like to say. So we've just come into the end of the boil. I've got my water chiller on the ready. One of the main reasons why I've got the uh, brew devil stud here is because we're close to a tap and that little ding dong there is the end of the boil so now I'm just gonna let's chill up I'm gonna leave the hot basket in there I'm gonna take the jacket off so now we want it to cool down it cool down to somewhere around about 20 degrees All right. Turn the water on. Don't have to go straight down the drain. Use it to water your garden. It is winter, the garden's pretty wet. You can use it to wash your car or something. Put it back into water, but I'm not a meter, so it's straight down the drain. So we've got that nicely chilled down now. So we're going to just transfer it into this fermenter. Once it's transferred into that fermenter, we're just going to add some yeast. Some pure brew and away it goes. That'll be it. And we'll be trying it in a few weeks' time and done them. Until then, do the roof.